Hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? Are you don't know, say it's a girl, kissy unstoppable. So, guys, you all see I brought two videos a lady with talking bad about Miss Dana Cake and a next lady from Canada who give a good review about Auntie Dana Cake. Here is the next video of this young man talking about Auntie Dana Cake. He's, he's giving his honest review, and this man came out to defend Auntie Dana and Auntie Dana Cake. And what this young man saying is fact. This lady that came out talking about Auntie Dana Cake um, tastes bad and he almost give her a heart attack. She's definitely a bad mind woman. That's a bad mind woman right this so. Right this so. So guys, before I take you all into the video, I want you guys to like, share, comment down below. Let me know what you think about, about this video. And if you're not already subscribed, go subscribe. <laughs> and don't forget to put on your post notifications so you know each hey guys what's up what's up what's up are you don't know say it's a girl kissy unstoppable so guys you all see i brought two videos a lady with talking bad about miss dana cake and the next lady from canada who give a good review about auntie dana cake here is the next video of this young man talking about auntie dana cake is he's, he's giving his honest review and this man came out to defend auntie dana and auntie dana cake and what this young man saying is fact this lady that came out talking about Auntie Dana Cake um, tastes bad and he almost give her a heart attack. She's definitely a bad mind woman. That's a bad mind woman right this so. Right this so. So guys, before I take you all into the video, I want you guys to like, share, comment down below. Let me know what you think about, about this video. And if you're not already subscribed, go subscribe. <laughs> and don't forget to put on your post notifications so you know each so you know each time I upload a video. So let's go over and watch that video right now. Listen, good evening, everybody. You know what? I'm here this evening to defend somebody that I don't know. Don't know her, don't man from Anna. I only see her on social media. And for the longest time, I've been trying to get one of her cakes. Because people talk so much about the cakes. You hear good things, you hear bad things about the cake, and for some, the cake is just a phenomenon. Call it what it is. The cake is a phenomenon, and the cake is, has gotten so popular now that them sell for hundred dollar a piece. And you know, more power to the people that will spend hundred dollar feet. Me not really gonna spend hundred dollar for no damn cake, but you know what? Me not not nobody's hustle. Everybody is entitled to their hustle. Now, I have noticed that this cake assassination is going on on social media and I've heard people talking about the cake. Now, everybody is entitled to their opinion. But you know, when something is getting vicious, when something gets vicious, it is unfair. It's unfair to the person. Now, I've been trying for a long time to get one of Auntie Dana cake. Me ask friends, me ask family to get me the cake. And me couldn't get none of the cake. And finally, me get my hand pan one of Auntie Dana vegan cake. Okay? And also, I they sent me some other samples of the... Then they cut it up of the the coconut, the um, ribena, and also the um, the um, the sorrel cake. Okay. Now I've heard that people on the people on the internet say, "Oh, the cake then dry and terrible and kill and will kill you, and the cake the cake then not taste good." Let me tell you something. The first thing that caught my attention about the cake was the smell. The smell one, and then, let me make a zoom in palette. And then, look at this cake. Tell me what you notice. Look at that. Okay? Now, always the people that cut it, and then the next thing that you might notice about it is, I make a zoom in, panic in the camera. You see, 
I've always heard people talking about the first thing, you know, what them always say, you know, the smell, the rum, and them always say, sorry, how oh, moist it is. True to form. True to form. Every single one of them is absolutely delicious. Delicious. Now, we got this one and we cut it and I tasted it with a couple of my staff and they all liked it but them can and my cake. Girl is not really my cake. This is my business partner cake. And I brought it home. Now, guys, look at this. Just look, zoom into it and see. You see this? What do you notice about it? It's moist. And I've always heard people, well, you know, it's moist. You ever hear them? It become rep repetitive now. Then hear people talk about it. Boy, oh, it moist. True. Moist. That's the first thing. The smell and the moist. And it tastes absolutely amazing. It tastes very, very good. Now, is it the best food fish I've ever had? Mm-mm. But... It is absolutely delicious. I mean, I suppose I'm not cake now, now, but I, mean, I don't know where you put it in the down, but the cake is very, very nice. The, the vegan cake is my favorite. You can't stop eating. On the top, I put like two pieces and never eat it. And then, when the pandemic is not made fast, but I'm mean, going to help them at the restaurant, so I'm still coming. I don't know. I'm going to wrap it in a five paper because I'm just not on the plant. There's something more than coming out, flimsy man. But still, I'm mean, not lying. The coconut one, too. The, oh, the coconut one, same thing. The coconut one is, um, oh my God, the smell, the smell, look at it. That's the coconut cake. Look at it. It's not dry or anything. It's very nice. And the smell gets you. But to be honest with you guys, me, um, um, me fall in love with the vegan one. This is the right bean, huh? See, all of them have one thing in common, and this is the this is the um the sorry one. Nice, Manala, very good. I would get it again. A matter of fact, my brother is coming up for Christmas, and then make sure someone order two more cake. If you can't get them, if you can't get them, don't want to know. Now listen. I'm an executive chef and I'm partner and owner of four successful restaurants. One in Atlanta. I'm a minority partner in that restaurant in Atlanta and a major partner in the three restaurants in Miami. Where I have a responsibility mainly for operations. 